So for those of you that are looking to start uh, adding some traditional knives to your collection, let's say, for example, you're searching for a trapper, but you don't have a ton of money to spend. Don't go away because this knife might be your ticket. Hey, I'm Jay, and if you're looking to buy a knife and you need to see what it's like first before you drop your hard-earned money on it, here's what you got to do. Click on subscribe so I can help you, and remember to click that bell notification so you don't miss a thing. All of the uh, specifications that you're looking at right now are measurements that I personally took myself. So for those of you interested, pause and read. This is the Roper Knives Laredo Trapper by ABKT or American Buffalo Knife and Tool. And if that sounds familiar to you, well, it should because ABKT is the very same company that is responsible for the protector that you see here and the Shadow Hornet both of which I've previously reviewed. So if at the end of this video, if you look up towards the corner, you can click on the icon and watch both of my reviews on these excellent ABKT knives. Let's quickly go ahead and take care of those size comparisons. And on top, you're looking at the Spyderco PM2, the bottom, the Benchmade bug out, and I'm going to throw in a GEC. This is the Oregon Trapper. We're going to do one more, and that is the Buck Ranger 112. Starting with the blades of the Laredo Trapper, uh, you're looking at two 1065 carbon steel blades with a really nice satin finish. Now, both are 3.25 inches in length and are also 2.25 millimeters thick. Now, the the profile width of each blade is, is different. The primary one is 0.63, and the secondary is right at a half inch, so 0 0.50. Now, the Laredo features nail nick deployment. It'd probably help if I show you the correct side. Uh, nail nick deployment. Um, unfortunately, neither blade uh, can be pinched open, so you do actually have to use the nail neck. And one of the, the reasons for that is because on a, on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the most difficult to deploy, my example here of the Laredo is, I would have to say, an 8 for the walk of the primary blade. and. I'm just going to close it there. And now the secondary blade, if I can get it out, that one is just a little bit easier with uh, a walk rating of, uh, let's say, about a six. Now, to me, the the snap or the, the talk is, I would have to say it's probably about medium. Let's listen to that. Hold on. Yeah, so it's, I mean, it's not, it's not too loud, but also it is not super quiet. Out of the box, there, there was no like um, grinding or, or grittiness during operation. So it did come pretty well oiled from the factory. And now these blades are in fact separated with just one liner and I am going to do my best to show you the centering. And you can see, hopefully, uh, the centering on both is just, it, it is a little bit off, but also I haven't noticed any, any like rubbing sounds or any marks. Uh, let me go ahead and take, open this back up. Yeah, no rubbing sounds, no, no, uh, rubbing marks on either of the blades. Now the the handle is about 4.125 
inches in length. So you can see there's plenty of room for my medium sized hand. And now the, the thickness, it is over a half inch at 0 0.60. And now the closed width, so at the widest point across is going to be, it is under an inch at 0 0.93. Now, I, I have to admit, I really, really like this combination. It's zebra wood and stag covers with stainless steel bolsters and cap. And the Laredo features very, very good fit and finish. I mean, there are no gaps around the shield. There's no gaps around like the bolsters or the cap. And even if we flip it over, no gaps going on there between like the liners and the spring. Now, I wanna go ahead and quickly grab the scale Let's see how much this is going to weigh you down. Now, why don't we go ahead and uh, toss this up on the scale and see how much we're looking at here. Wow. Actually, that's better than I thought. 3.5, 3.6, 3.6 ounces. I mean, now, and keep in mind, this is, this is a big knife. It really is. 3.6 ounces. The scale just can't make up its mind. Or that's going to be roughly the equivalent of one, two, three, four. Looks like four AA batteries or exactly the same weight as a Spyderco PM2. Before we get into my recommendation, I just want to quickly remind you to go ahead and click on that subscribe button if you're looking for knife reviews that get right to the point. Okay, so here's where we're at with the Laredo Trapper. Now, MSRP is about 30 bucks. Now, you might be able to, to even find that for a little less because now Blade HQ is an authorized dealer of ABKT knives. Of course, you can also buy this directly from ABKT's website, which is simply just abktinc.com. But don't worry, I will include all of the links that you require down below. Now. The Laredo is also just an excellent option for maybe those of you that are looking to transition into traditional folders, or maybe you're just looking for a quality knife that is very, very affordable. And on top of all that, I mean, just damn handsome. So I need to thank my friends over at American Buffalo Knife and Tool who graciously sent the Laredo to me.